What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a walkthrough of autoblogging.ai. I'll also be comparing the output quality from autoblogging.ai compared to using the playground mode or using ChatGPT. And we'll be comparing the output quality with autoblogging.ai with other AI copywriting tools. So let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't used autoblogging.ai, it's a pretty easy to use tool. Essentially, it leverages GPT to be able to generate content quickly. So all you have to do is use their pre-made templates to generate the articles that you like. There's a couple of different modes in which you can use to generate content. You have the quick mode, you have the pro mode, and you have the godlike mode. Let's start with their best mode, which is the godlike mode to generate output to see the type of quality that we can expect when using autoblogging.ai. So when you're using autoblogging.ai, the first thing that you need to do is enter the article title. So this is going to be very straightforward. You just enter the title of the article in which you're trying to generate. So I'm gonna use the same title of the article as I used in my previous video in which I did a review of SEO writing.ai so if you want to compare the output qualities you can do so for yourself or if you want to check out the video that i did of seo writing you can check out that video as well so this is going to be kind of the base for the articles in which we'll be generating so that we can compare different tools to see which tool is able to give us the best output quality for the same title and the same article topic so the article title is how to start and grow an ai SaaS company in 2023 the syrup location is going to be united states so essentially it's going to read all of the top ranked blog posts in the United States for this specific title and we're going to get recommendations. It's gonna take all of that information and create a unique article. So we're gonna add a key takeaways. We're also going to add external links. We're gonna embed a YouTube video and we're also going to use AI images. So that means it's going to automatically create AI images and pop that into the article. So this again takes away all of the heavy lifting. You don't have to prompt the AI yourself. You don't have to do anything uh, manually. All you have to do is set up the templates and then the content will be generated automatically so this can save you a lot of time now we can also enter custom keywords and entities so again we can enter keywords that we want the ai to use but i usually like to keep this separate um, we can also add competition or competitor urls so for instance let's say we wanted to go ahead and copy over this key term we're gonna head over to google and we wanted to get some of the best um, on the top ranked blog posts. We can copy over these URLs because, again, this is going to give the AI more information and it's going to allow the AI to be able to um, take that information and write us a unique article that is ideally better than these competitors. So again, I'm gonna copy over some competitors here and we're gonna paste it into this section. So that will allow us to search the SERPs first. So it's gonna search the SERP. It's gonna take about zero to three minutes. And as you can see here, we can then select the competitor URL. So, so now that the SERP is generated, we can now select competitors that we would like to outrank for. So this is going to take the information from these competitors and it's going to take what's working well and combine that to write a much better article so for example i can click this link which is from hacker noon i can click the link from user guide i can click the link from neoito.com so i've selected websites that are actually blogs that are similar to my own website i wouldn't select youtube videos or i wouldn't select user generated content from reddit or quora so now what we can do is we can either research the serp or you can create an outline based on the outlines of the competition so what i want to do is i want to create an outline based on the outlines of the competition and then we're also going to research a serp so again it's going to analyze the serp um, it should take about three to seven minutes for these specific articles so again it's went ahead and researched the serp we can see the keywords that were found the entities that were found we can see the outline here and we can see the final outline that we get from autoblogging.ai so we see what is an ai SaaS company what makes an ai SaaS company different what is ai SaaS in 2023 how to start an ai SaaS company how to grow and the challenges of and the solutions of an ai SaaS company so we can see that this is a pretty good um, outline we can also add more keywords we can add more entities um, but this is good because it is um, taking into consideration the things that we need to um, include in order to rank for this specific keyword so this is not just only going to be an article with content it's also going to be an article that is seo optimized so as you can see here the godlike mode allows you to generate articles that are heavily seo optimized with real-time data from the serps so once the article is being generated we can head over to the history tab and we can see that it's going to be processed so let's give it some time and what we're going to do in the meanwhile we're going to use some of the other modes so we have the pro mode now the pro mode is currently the disabled so i'll just go through what this promo looks like essentially you can enter the topic of the blog post and then you can enter the subheading of the blog post so this allows you to kind of build the outline of the article a lot better so you can include the title what the first subheading second subheading
heading third and we can also go ahead and add more subheadings so this allows you to add a little bit of a manual touch by creating the outline for you so you create the outline yourself and then the ai will then generate the full article you can add ai images you can add faqs faq schema markup you can tell it not to fix the grammar you can add it you can tell it not to add HTML, not to add subheading elements, or don't add tables, or do not add flow. Whatever you want to do or customize, you can do so using the pro mode. Now, let's go ahead and use the quick mode. This is going to be one of the easiest templates in which you can use. So again, we're going to enter the blog post topic, which is how to start and grow an AI SaaS in 2023. We're going to leave the language to US. We're going to add an AI featured image. We're going to add a FAQ. And then we're not going to do a SERP analysis because we already did that in the godlike mode. So let's go ahead and generate the article. And let's see how long um, this article takes. And we'll also see the output quality that we can expect when using the quick mode compared to the godlike mode. And while the articles are generating, I want to let you know that I am opening up enrollment again for my AI writing mastery course. This will go through everything that you need to know to create the best quality content using AI. If you want to check out the paid course, I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. I'm also offering an exclusive discount for my YouTube community. So if you want to check out that discount, check out the link in the description below today's video. Now let's continue. Okay, so the articles are completed from autoblogging.ai. It took a little bit longer than I I would um, say it would take us to generate the article if we use the playground mode but again it does all of the heavy lifting for you so let's go ahead and view the first article um i think this was done using yeah this was not the godlike mode this is the quick mode so this is the featured image how to start a ai SaaS company in 2023 in the fast-paced world of tech ai SaaS has emerged as a dynamic and rapidly growing industry as you step into 2023 okay so i like that it's customizing the article for 2023 in this comprehensive guide we'll go over and it kind of talks about what this article will go over so what is ai SaaS? why is the ai SaaS industry growing how to start ai SaaS? Da -da -da. how to grow your ai SaaS? and the faq and that is the full article. In terms of word count, this is about 2,400 words, which I think is pretty good for this article length. So that's pretty, um, that's a pretty long article. And I would say that overall, this is a pretty in-depth article. What I would like, I would probably like to have more lists. I would like to have more tables, um, just different types of content within this article rather than blobs of text. But I would say in terms of the actual relevancy of the article, um, I would say it's pretty good in terms of the readability. It also seems to be pretty good. Um, it doesn't have too many difficult words. I could probably say I would want it to be a little bit um, more readable. So reducing the readability level would be a good option, especially for non-native speakers. But um, again, I would say overall, this is a pretty decent article. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the godlike mode. So that is the second article here. We're going to view that article. So this is the godlike mode. This is the keywords. These are the entities. And we get a pretty similar image here. Um, so in 2023, the AI SaaS industry is poised for remarkable growth and innovation, offering tremendous opportunities for entrepreneurs. In this comprehensive guide, we will dwell into the intricacies of what defines an AI SaaS company. So we have the key takeaways. You have an AI SaaS company. What is it? What makes an AI SaaS company different? Why start an AI SaaS company? What are the current trends? What are the potential growth opportunities? Um, how to start an AI SaaS company. We get another image here. And we get a last image here, which talks about the challenges and solutions for AI SaaS companies. So this is obviously a much longer article. Um, I would say that this is probably around maybe 3000 words. So you definitely get a long article here. And again, I would say that this is also a pretty decent article. Um, I like that it's included some external images, but it didn't really include any external links and it didn't include the YouTube videos that it said it would, but that is something that's harder to do, especially for AI. So this article is about 3,100 words. The article that I was able to generate using the playground mode, I believe this was a little bit longer. So this is about 3,700 words. Um, if you want to see exactly how I was able to generate this article, just take a look at my video in which I did a review of SEO writing.ai. I'll leave a link for that um, video in the description below. So if you wanted to really compare these articles, you would have to go ahead and read through all three of these articles. This is the article from that I created manually. This is the article that we just generated using the godlike mode. And then the other article in which I generated using the 
quick mode can also be found um, within this section. So you'd have to go ahead and read through all of these articles, but I've read through it. And what I would see is, is that if you want to save time, if you want to um, be able to save all of the heavy lifting, you don't have, don't need to prompt the AI. You don't need to do any specific settings. Then you can use autoblogging.ai because you will be able to get a pretty decent article. I think that you lose the customization option that you have when you use these tools because you're not able to tell the AI to write in a specific tone and you lose the ability to direct the AI in the specific direction that you would like to go to when you're using these um, auto blogging tools. But again, if you're only concerned about generating as much content as you humanly possibly can within the shortest period of time, then autoblogging.ai would be a great option for you. In terms of pricing, they have changed their pricing. Their smallest plan starts at $49 per month, and this allows you to get 60 credits. If you need more credits, you can get 150 credits for $99, and for $240, $49, you can get up to 500 credits and your credits as you can see here are very depending on the plan in which you use if you use the godlike mode you can um, use anywhere between 10 to 15 credits just to turn it one article the promo will cost you less credits and the quick mode will be the least amount of credits so for example i generated two articles here and i believe i used about um, 15 credits because i had about 30 credits within this account so just keep that in mind that one credit does not equal one generation the more customization options that you add the more credits you will use but if you want to check out autoblogging.ai for yourself, I'll leave a link for autoblogging.ai in the description below today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.